it's vlogmas day two and i just wanted to show you guys some foolishness this early in the morning okay here's my legs here's tootie the tarot nugget the entire rest of the bed This is the end of the bed. I'm in this space because the terror nugget is right here. And she's not even moving. She sleeps like she got a hard life. <laughs> So last night when I got home, Lamar told me that there was a lizard in the house and homie is still here. There's his tail. I'm gonna see if I can get him out. out the door and came back in. I mean, bro, I understand it's cold, but come on. Jeez. I don't have time for these shenanigans this morning. I was just trying to get up, have a nice cup of tea, get ready for the day. Now I gotta go hunt down the dogs after I just tried to hunt down a little baby Godzilla. Where'd these dogs go? This dog is all the way down the street. See, she about to lose her privileges. You can't even see her. Look, look at this, look. and look at this one. Both of them, down the street. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ashamed, and that one taking the long way around so that I can't get her. Look at her, just bad. Kiva. Now you know better. Come on, come here. Come here. Don't be acting all sorry now. She walking like, Tootie made me do it. I only went with her to make sure that she stayed safe. And then she just left me just now. And I was, I was just being a big sister. You always tell me to look out for her. And that's all I was trying to do. That's it. I wasn't trying to go nowhere. I was just, you know, making sure she didn't get hit by a car or something. Right? That's what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Go inside. And this one at the back door, like I was here the whole time. I was here. I don't, I don't even know what you're mad about, because you just didn't see me. Can you open the door so I can come inside? You don't raise your voice. You, be, you better be quiet. I know you were off down the street. Well, yes, I was. You called me. Come in this house. Shenanigans and tomfoolery this early in the morning. You think you're getting a treat? Oh, no, no, no. Nobody's getting treats this morning. No. I don't give treats to doggies who run off. Y'all know you're supposed to stay in the back. So go on to your beds.
Oh, gross, Kiva. Now go sit over there and think about what you did. To leave the house like now so let's open today's advent Ooh, this is from harbor stitches um thank you so much this is nice blue and i've been trying to figure out what i want to do my hair looks so crazy i've been trying to figure out what i want to do with my advent minis and Part of me is like, let's make like a shawl or something like that. And then part of me is like, let's start a scrappy blanket. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a scrappy blanket or one of, one of them is going to be a scrappy blanket and the other one will be like a shawl or something. So, um, I pulled out. I pulled out some a 20 gram mini and a 10 gram mini that I had in my stash and I'm just crocheting a granny square to see what size um, each of those gives so that then I can figure out how many or how big of a blanket I could get from it and if it really makes sense to do that and yeah so I'm gonna go grab my stuff get in the car and head on to work see you guys later hey guys so I'm on lunch and I'm having both. Yep, you can barely see that. Delicious. Because I'm feeling sick again. I just can't win this year. I just cannot win. I feel like I was just sick last week, but. So I'm gonna eat this. I've got tea, which you guys saw this morning. And I am crocheting. So this is a square, a granny square that I'm making out of a 10 gram mini that I had in my stash. And I'm trying to see how big of a square I can get with just the 10 grams. And then I'll figure out what kind, like how, what dimension I want for my advent blanket. So I don't know if it's going to be like an advent blanket or an advent lap gown or an advent placemat, <laughs> but yeah, I am really feeling run down. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I'm going to go ahead and eat this soup. I got the chicken and veggie. So hopefully this will help me feel better and like get through the day. Um, and then I'm gonna just be loading up on vitamin C and golden seal echinacea to try to kick this in the butt before it comes for me completely. <laughs> um, yeah, luckily this day, like today's not too, too crazy, but I need to get myself together because I think I'm on the schedule to work all day tomorrow as well. We shall see how that goes. I hope you're having a good 
Monday. Yes, I hope you're having a good Monday. See you later. Okay guys, I finished my 10 gram mini grand square. And it's this big. And this is all that I had left. So, let's measure this baby. If the audio sounds like wonky, it's because I'm recording with my headphone mic. And it's, I did a test and it was picking up like everything. I'm sitting in the food court at the mall and it's picking up like the Japanese food place utensils on their grill and stuff. This microphone is overzealous. So, yeah, looks like I got a six inch square from one 10 gram mini. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't feel like crocheting the whole 20 gram mini that I brought to test out how big that would be. I think what I'm gonna do is count the clusters in this one and then make an educated guess on how many clusters I can get out of 20 grams by doubling that and then figuring out how many rounds that would be, if that makes any sense at all. Um, yeah, but I think I kind of like the six inch square size. So I'm keeping all of my hooks in this bag that Claudia of the Crochet Luna podcast gave me. And she said she gave it to me because it had the constellations on it. And she was like, I really hope they're real constellations. I think they are. They are. Actually, my favorite constellation is on here. This is actually my favorite constellation. This is um, Arcturus. No, no, no. This is Boots the, Herds the Herdsman. This star right here is Arcturus, and that is my favorite star. And it's been my favorite star ever since seventh grade. Yes, ever since seventh grade, Arcturus has been my favorite star. So, there's a fun fact about Kalisha for you. So I'm going to get going. <sighs> I'm probably gonna get some vitamin C too. Later. So I went back to the studio to tell Liz that I was gonna go to Publix and get some Dayquil. And she goes, I was about to do the same thing. Oh, poor sick kids in the studio. Friends. I'm off work. Did I clock out? Yes, I did. I am off work and I have complaints and public service announcements. So, one, if you make an appointment to get your family's pictures taken at a certain time and you know said appointment is at a certain time and you see that you're going to be late please call your photography location and tell them that you are running late so that they can make a decision as to how to proceed. Just call. That's all. That's all we need you to do. All right. So I'm driving home. Um, I am, I think I'm just going to take a NyQuil and go to sleep tonight, y'all, because my throat is just hurting. It's just hurting. I'm going to take a NyQuil and a whole lot of Golden Seal Echinacea. I'm probably going to take my NyQuil with Golden Seal Echinacea tea. That's when you know it's real. When you're taking your medicine with medicine. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to drive on home, listen to some music, turn the heat on in this car because it's cold. 
I know it's not like real cold, so don't like you're you people up in the north, don't come for me. But it's Florida cold, and yeah, my like I got my chest out today. See, that's that's what's wrong. That's probably how I got sick. I'm a chest all out, running around here like a wild woman. <laughs> Anyway, let me just get off of here because at this point, I'm a little bit delirious. Leave my stuff alone. So that's what I came home to. Kiva bust into day 18 and day 10 of the Dundervent, Dundervent calendar. So day 10 is spoiled. Day 18, luckily I can't see it. So I'm gonna take it. Sorry, Lamar just called me. I was saying day 10, no, day 18 I couldn't see. So I just taped it closed. I taped closed day, day 10 as well. Um, and hopefully I'll forget what it looks like by the time it comes around. And if I don't, it's fine. But still, I'm so irritated. That dog, I tell you. Like, Lamar, I told Lamar what she did. And she was like, or Lamar was like, um, she's old and she does what she wants. She's like, I don't get spankings anymore, so I'm about to live my life. Basically. She just went ham on all the trash cans in the house today. I don't know what it was, but today was the day that Kiva just lost her entire mind. So, let's actually open up the correct day of the Dundervent. Here is day two. Ooh, this is pretty. I like that a lot. It's like berries. Really pretty. And the goodie. Oh, I've had this before. I've had crunchy. No, I haven't. I thought I've had this before. This is crunchy bits. And this one is dinky decker. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. I'm going to have the dinky decker and Lamar can have the crunchy bits. Oh, I'm just not going to open either one of them and I'll let him pick. But. Dundervent calendar day two is very pretty. Let's see what it looks like at day one. Ooh. They would work nicely next to each other because this one has a couple of those purple and pink speckles I like it I like it let's put them back where they belong I don't know why but I just want to keep everything in order yay so I think I'm gonna sign off for tonight I think that's all I got <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of Etsy work and then it's NyQuil and good night. So, good night, friends. See you tomorrow. Okay, guys. So, I get distracted. I do. And I bought batteries for these Christmas lights that I found at Walmart the other day. This is what they are they're called BeatSync sound activated string lights. Easy to use, no connection required. Automatically detects and reacts to sound. These are freaking awesome. I think they were only like seven dollars, seven dollars fifty cents or something like that. But look at this. Boop. Boop. Boop a doop boop boop boop. It's got like a microphone in here, so. Yeah. So you're supposed to be able to turn on music and this will go to the beat of the music. 
I haven't exactly figured out how close this needs to be to the speaker to make it work, but obviously, these are the best Christmas lights I've ever bought in my life. 